One of the first things I did in Tears of the Kingdom was go around and look for all of the amazing horses that you could find throughout the game. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get three amazing horses and they be thick. Now, I do already have a video on how to get Zelda's golden horse, as well as unlocking the horse god, where now not only can you revive dead horses, but you can also upgrade all of the stats of certain horses like the golden horse. Now, Epona is also available in the game, but still only unlockable through using an amiibo. Now, the first horse we're going to get today is this beautiful big old boy right here, the giant white stallion. Look at this majestic beast. The giant white stallion comes with five strength and two speed. It has no spurs and it can't pull any carts and it has a wild temperament. Perhaps not the best horse in the game and it also can't be upgraded at the horse god, which is a bit unfortunate. Make your way south from central Hyrule towards Farron. You're going to head towards the Highland stable and start making your way up into the mountains. Once here, you want to land on this little plateau right here. You'll know you're here because there's going to be three Endura carrots growing in the ground and you're definitely going to want to pick those up. Now if you approach the edge you're going to notice a big horse down below. Go ahead and jump off this ledge and if you want you can even use your bow and you can select any type of item that'll do a freeze effect like this ice fruit. Shoot the horse with that and you're going to run up to it and start smashing A. The second this freezes, we're going to hop on and you're going to start smashing the soothe button to be able to calm and tame this horse. Now, we had almost used up two full bars of stamina to be able to tame this, so make sure to cook those Endura carrots if you actually need more stamina. Make sure to take it to the Highland Stable and register it so you don't lose it forever. Now, what's interesting is once you actually register this horse, it's going to acquire a really nice looking bridle and saddle. You can't actually customize it or change saddles or the hairstyle at all, but it looks really cool the way it is. Now, for these next two horses, if you already tamed them in Breath of the Wild and you had that save still on your Switch when you started Tears of the Kingdom, then those horses have been imported to this game and they should be in your stable already. So that should be the only reason that these two horses aren't in these locations that we're about to cover. That wonderful moment as a content creator when you want it to be clear but it never stops raining so you have to use a hover stone over a fire to try for like five days straight just to get it to stop raining for five seconds. To get Ganon's horse we're going to go southeast of central Hyrule to Hateno Village and then we're going to make our way downtown walking fast to this little cliff right here where you'll be able to see that peninsula going over to the water. We're just going to glide and or walk over or Zonai device our way over there. Now the peninsula we're going for is this one right here. So don't land on this one, land with the one that does not have the road on it. And as you glide down, you should see Ganon's horse chilling with a bunch of smaller horses, probably feeling like a real gangster. I don't know what this horse is probably feeling like right now, but I'm sure it feels special and that's why it's hanging around with all these other horses. But what we can do as we glide down is just whip out our bow. And we're gonna do the same thing we did to tame the giant white stallion is just shoot this thing in the butt with something frozen. Try not to use an incredibly powerful bow because there's actually a chance you could kill the horse and we're just going to smash a to be able to mount it once it unfreezes from here hop on this big old boy smash l to soothe the second you mount and you should be able to tame your horse if you're running out of stamina make sure to pay attention to that because this thing will yeet you off if given the chance you just eat some kind of stamina food or he showed you where to get the endura carrots and just continue on your way this bad boy takes a lot of stamina to be able to tame i think that one took us uh, two and a half stamina wheels but look at this majestic beast very similar to the previous Majestic Beast, but this one looks, I don't know, this is probably one of my favorite looking horses in the game, to be honest. Now, unfortunately, the nearest stable is 15 billion miles away, and quite frankly, if any other company made horses that functioned as bad as horses in Tears of the Kingdom or Breath in the Wild, that company would be roasted into the ground, but for some reason, Nintendo gets away with it. The trick is supposed to be if you're on a road, you can just hold or hit the A button to be able to follow this road perfectly, and just do not touch the steering stick at all but for some reason horses still kind of do their own thing and like start walking sideways and go up mountains whenever they want to so it doesn't work that well but it is a tip if you're trying to go along a road at least ganon's horse has the exact same stats as the giant white stallion just with a different look and cannot be customized or upgraded just like the great white stallion once you do register at the stable it'll also acquire a saddle of its own which is eerily similar to the great white stallion as well i don't know why i keep calling it great white stallion maybe i'm thinking about sharks i'm not sure next we're going to be 
getting Zelda's White Stallion. To get Zelda's White Horse, we're going to head to Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower and we're going to launch out of it and then glide towards Skull Lake and we just want to land on the other side of it over here. Zelda's horse will also be hanging out in a group of other horses. Should be really easy to tell which one's which. And we're going to do the same trick that we used for all the other ones. Just going to shoot her right in the face. Very easy to tame using the same exact trick as we used before. Just use a freeze arrow or something like that. And just jump on the horse and tame it as quick as possible. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. You got yourself a beautiful horse. And the best thing about this one is it's upgradable. And thankfully, the nearest stable isn't too far away. It's just a little bit southeast of you at the East Akala Stable. Now, while this horse isn't thick like all the other ones, it is by far the best horse that you can tame in the game naturally without upgrading it. So it's going to be a really great horse to start off with if you do want to max out all of the stats. Its handling is a lot better and it does have stamina with five spurs. So you can get to places pretty quickly with it. Now, this horse is fully customizable. You can even put a floral mane on here if you want. I think my favorite one is the long red mane and tail though. Now Zelda's white stallion comes with four strength, three speed, five stamina, three pull, and a wild temperament. Now while you're up here at the East Akala stable, I highly recommend going down this road because if you follow this road down and then go all the way across this area here, this is where you can actually unlock the horse god for upgrading all of your horses or reviving a horse if it dies. The only thing you need to do to unlock the horse god is bring it one cooked endura carrot. Once unlocked, you'll have the option to enhance a horse. And from here, you can look at the horses that you want to enhance. Now, like I said, Ganon's horse and the giant white stallion can't be upgraded, but horse face here can. And the interesting thing about this is you'll have to cook the horse god food, like vegetable curry, hot buttered apple, and carrot cake to be able to upgrade to our final level of strength. And the higher the stars you want, the more you'll have to cook. But it's really cool because you can make any horse in the game the best by using this process.